Hi, my name is Michelle McCann, author and Divine Channel, and I'm here to help you strengthen your connection with God and the angels so that you can live the life of your dreams and to also find um, peace, love, comfort, and support in difficult times. And so um, I'm starting this video series. I've, I've done several videos now, and I'm going to try to do them on a weekly basis to provide information that will help you on your spiritual journey. So uh, thank you for listening. I appreciate you being here. And uh, so last week, if you've been watching, I talked a little bit about ways to start to build or strengthen your connection with your guardian angel, some um, sort of tips or, or methods that you could take uh, to build um, the connection so that you can start to receive messages and guidance in your daily life. And uh, this has been really beneficial to me. And so I, I wanted to share my journey and uh, what I've learned and all the classes that I've taken to help you uh, with your connection and, and to have the guidance um, that you might like to have in your life uh, from the spirit realms. So um, anyway, so last week I talked about uh, ways for you to connect with your guardian angel. And so the question was raised is, who, who is my guardian angel? Can you tell, can you tell me more about guardian angels? And of course, yes, I can tell you lots more about guardian angels and of course I guess I put the cart before the horse a little bit so I'm going to take a step back and I will talk to you a little bit today about who guardian angels are and um, how they how they work in your life so um, so the first thing to know is that your guardian angel was their messengers from God um, so they're sort of on a mission you know from God or source whatever the universe whatever you want to call it and they are there just for you. They were created when your soul was created. So they have been with you in every incarnation, in every lifetime. And they know you more than any other angel or being in the spirit realms because they have been with you um, throughout eternity. So, uh, so they know you very, very, very well. Um, so they're a great <clears throat> angel to call on um, for guidance and support. So that's the first thing. And then, um, so their mission, um, what are guardian angels, you know, here to do? So they're here to help us live our soul's purpose, um, which includes a couple of different things. Uh, one is to help us learn the lessons that our soul wants to learn uh, in order to grow in things like uh, peace and joy and love and patience and understanding and forgiveness and, um, you know, all these different uh ways in which our soul desires to to grow our guardian angel is to uh we have the sort of blueprint blueprint for our lives i'll talk about that in a minute um and our guardian angel is there to guide us on our path so that we can experience the lessons we need to experience and so that um we can make the best choices in our lives so that's part of it and then the other part of it is that we have sort of a mission and a purpose to fulfill in addition to you know having uh, these lessons to help our soul grow we also have each of us the spark of the divine the light of god within us and um, god wants us to bring our gifts and shine our light to um to help the world and to help ourselves be happy and joyful so what that looks like is um, when your heart desires to do something, um, whether it's to help someone or to have a specific career or to just do something, you know, supportive and loving towards someone, um, that is your heart's, you know, heart's desire calling you. And that is actually, um, you know, the spark of the divine within you. Um, when you find joy and delight in doing something, you should really do that thing because that's what God and the angels are calling you to do. So for me, I really delight in helping people to grow in their spiritual journeys, uh, to help them to have these divine connections because it's been so meaningful in my life and I really want to share and help others um, you know, to have these similar experiences. So, so that's sort of my mission and purpose. And, uh, and yours may be, you know, different. Yours may be, um, my friend Jill just announced she's opening a flower shop. And so she loves to arrange flowers and has always uh, been drawn by drawn to flowers. So, um, if that's, you know, something you love, then you should do that. Or, you know, whatever your, um, your goals are or whatever you feel uh, makes you happiest, that is what God wants you to do and to pursue. And, um, and your guardian angel is there to help you. 
So how do they help us? Um, so it's very important to know that guardian angels cannot interfere with our free will. So as I mentioned earlier, there's this blueprint for our lives when we come in, which is this idea that there's all these different decision points. And if we make this decision, then this will happen. If we make this decision, then that will happen. So it's kind of a very complicated um, process in which we have choices that we can make that will impact our lives. And our guardian angel has the blueprint. They know at every decision point um, what would be the best decision for our highest good and the highest good of all involved. Um, so they are sort of whispering to us and encouraging us to make the decisions um, that would be best for our soul growth and for us to live the life of our dreams and fulfill our mission and purpose. So they're always sort of whispering to us. Um, and if we ask them to... Um, to help us, then we can start to um, get more messages and experience more synchronicities and have more opportunities open up for us. So it's very important that we ask for their help because again, they can't interfere with our free will. So we, we want to ask, ask, ask. And there's never anything too big or too small. So you may be looking for a new job or a new career, or you may be looking for a new partner or perhaps to improve the relationship with your existing partner or, um, you know, maybe you're just looking to find a good parking spot, um, you know, when you're headed out and about to the grocery store. And so you can ask them for that. There's nothing too big or too small. And your guardian angel is there just for you. And I think I said, so the other angels are there for everyone, but your guardian angel is assigned just to you. Um, so they're just sort of waiting, you know, if you th like to think about it, if you're, if you're not asking them for help, they're, you know, they're always there with you, but, um, but if you ask, ask them for help, you're sort of keeping them from being bored and unemployed. So it's actually a good thing to ask for help. You're not being too needy or greedy. Um, they really desire to um, to help and support you. That's their mission, and that that's um, what makes them happy. So um, so ask, ask, ask. And then the last point I want to make is that your guardian angel loves you more than you can possibly imagine. Even if you think you've made mistakes, you've made poor choices, maybe you've been unloving or um, done things you're not proud of. It doesn't matter. Your guardian angel loves you no matter what. And they liken it to um, how a parent feels about an infant. You know, and if you think about an infant, um, they're demanding. They're, um, you know, they poop and they pee and they cry. And, um, you know, you have to feed them and take care of them. And uh, they wake you up in the middle of the night. Like, they're definitely, you know, challenging. But then you look at them and you just feel this overwhelming sense of love because they're just these amazing creatures. And so that's how our guardian angel feels about us times like a thousand or a million. Um, you know, they gave me that as an analogy, um, as a way that we can understand to have some uh, sort of comparison, but you know, there really is no comparison. Our guardian angel loves us more than we can possibly imagine. And I'll just tell a brief story about um, when I went on, kind of started this journey of making these connections. I went on a retreat and learning about guides and angels. And when I first learned about my guardian angel and how much they love me, I, uh, I actually just started to tear up and cry and I was just um, overwhelmed and I think what was happening is that I was actually feeling my guardian angel's love for me and it was just really profound and um, powerful. And so, um, so after that experience, I definitely longed to um, get to know them more and have, you know, been on this journey to, um, yeah, to connect with them and, and to listen to their guidance. So, um, so yeah, so that's really it as, uh, as far as guardian angels that I'll talk about today. But I did want to say, if you are interested in learning more about guardian angels, I have been invited by Karen Tumas, <clears throat> who was my angel certification teacher, to teach three um, guardian angel mini workshops. And uh, they'll be held uh, September 26th, October 3rd, and October 10th. And um, they are going to be held via Zoom. It'll be 10 a.m. Eastern time, but you know you can join from anywhere since it will be over Zoom. And I will put the link uh, in the information um, with the video, but uh, you can also Google Angels Galore Ben Salem Meetup. That's Karen's group. And, um, and you can check under events and you can register online there. It'll be $20 a class. 
And, um, and she also has lots of other events if you are on this journey and um, you may find some classes of interest to you. So I definitely encourage you to check that out. And then I'm also uh, offering uh, one-on-one uh, readings or what I'm calling spiritual consultations. If you're looking to you know build or strengthen your connection with your spirit team, I'm here to help. Uh, I am offering those at an introductory kind of special price of $50 for a session. And you can email me. I haven't added it to my website yet. So you can email me at me, M-E, at michelledmccann.com if that's of interest to you. And um, and then it will be on my website soon. So, um, so yeah, so that's pretty much it for today. I do encourage you to check out my website, which is www.michelledmccann.com because there's lots of um, information, resources, and inspirational uh, messages that I have channeled. I've been channeling messages for quite some time now, so there's all that information for free on the website. And uh, you can also sign up for my email list, which is also free, and I do send a weekly new message every Sunday. And then um, when you sign up, you can download a free preview of my book, The Nature of God, The Revelation, which also has information about how you can... Uh, strengthen or build your connection with God and the angels and sort of and shares my journey of, uh, of doing that as well. So um, if you find that of interest, please check that out. Uh, thank you so much for listening. And um, if you do like this video um, and feel like it might be, I hope you found it helpful. And if you think it might be helpful to others, I hope that you will share it out and um, subscribe to this channel. And uh, I will continue to post videos that will hopefully be helpful and informational for you. So uh, thank you so much for for listening and watching and um, wishing you lots of peace, joy, and angel blessings and have a wonderful day. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.